Hello and welcome to the Torque Strap YouTube channel. And today what we're going to be doing is taking an in-depth look at one of my favorite devices ever created, the cam buckle. As one of the most underutilized and misunderstood devices out there, I'm very passionate about telling you why this little buckle is an awesome device. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Grant, and when I was 15 years old, a bungee cord snapped and the hook went through my father's hand. I then became obsessed with cargo straps, what made them work, and I set out to find a better way to use cargo straps. And in doing so, I've discovered a lot along the way. So I'm here to share that info with you. So without further ado, I want to explain to you why I'm so passionate about cam buckles. As someone who deals with cam buckles on a daily basis, I get asked all the time, how can you rely on this not to slip? Well, the thing about cam buckles is they never slip. What? You've seen your load get loose, right? You've watched the cargo come undone. Yes, the strap is getting loose, but the cam buckle has never slipped. And I'm gonna show you why. So, a cam buckle is essentially nothing more than a set of teeth arranged in just the right way to bite down on your webbing. It consists of a body on the outside and a lever which pivots on an axle. If you look inside, you do see that the large teeth will by spring action bite down onto the webbing. Now as you pull a tension load on this webbing, you're pushing this side of the webbing into the teeth, thus driving them deeper and harder. And the harder you pull, the tighter it gets. Essentially with this method, this will never slip. Now again, you're asking yourself then why? Why have my kayaks, my surfboards, my lumber, everything has come loose after just a few miles? Well, that's a different story. Taking a look at my setup, what I wanna do here is prove that there won't be slippage in the cam buckle of the pull strap. So starting from the bottom, we have our ratchet strap, which we're gonna to use to provide tension. In the middle, we have our cam buckle, and just inside the cam buckle, I've drawn a black line with a Sharpie. So if the webbing does slip, certainly it will slide into the teeth, therefore becoming almost invisible. And now at the very top, just for the sake of data and accuracy, we do have a scale that's going to be recording pounds. So without further ado, let's crank this ratchet strap and see if we get any slippage in our cam buckle. All right, let's start cranking. Okay, looks like we have 320 pounds on the scale. Okay, so let's jump in and get some further examination on our line. All right, so I brought in some stronger lighting. We're just gonna take a peek right inside and sure enough, there is our black line. Really hasn't moved. All right guys, so now I hope you understand the concept behind a cam buckle and the fact that it just won't slip. But I know you have one question remaining. Why are my straps coming loose? The answer is micro vibrations and cargo shift. You see, no matter what, a cargo load is going to start to shift underneath tension. And just a little bit of vibration, even just a quarter inch, can slack out all the tension in your cam strap. The same principle happens with the ratchet strap. The only difference is it's flexed a little bit so it has a bit of give. But anybody that's used ratchet straps on things like kayak or piles of lumber or brush, you know that by the time you're to the end of the street, those straps are already loose. Both of them are flawed in their inability to flex. So by now you might be asking yourself if a pull strap doesn't work and a ratchet strap isn't much better, where do I turn? Luckily for you, the year is 2022 and we've moved on from these caveman-like devices and jumped into the world of hybrid straps. What is a hybrid strap? Well, a hybrid strap is essentially a cam buckle strap, which you already know is a almost flawless device integrated with a flexible portion. And a good hybrid strap is going to have a steel spring end line for an extra robust and a very tight load. And even when the load shifts or sinks, it's gonna retain tension and hug that cargo. These straps really are a game changer. And frankly, it's sad that it took almost a century to come to this point, 
But the important thing is moving forward, we know how to keep our cargo secure. Okay, so now that you're armed with this knowledge, the next time you're out on an adventure with your buddies and someone goes to use a pull strap like this and they tie a half hitch underneath the teeth to keep it from sinking, you can let them know that that's in fact a complete waste of time. And the real problem with this strap is its inability to flex. All right, guys, I want to thank you for stopping by today. I hope you learned something and I'll see you on the next video. Until next time.